He will be here at yeah, three o'clock. Yeah, that is true. We need to be a little bit formal here, here, so. Yeah. I'm delighted to be here at this inaugural meeting of what is now called Corfu Butterfly Conservation, CBC. Many thanks to Dan Danahar, the leader, for inviting me to do this, and certainly to uh, Spiros Bathas for hosting us here at uh, Villa Fondana. <laughs> And I'll be my piece the whole, the whole, the whole thing, as I understand it, grew out of the um, Facebook discussion that I think Dan probably started about five years ago. And over those five years, several things have been proven, one of which is there is enormous enthusiasm and interest and dedication in the Lepidoptera, that is the butterfly's moth of Corfu, among residents of Corfu, visitors to Corfu, professionals, amateurs and the like. So that was something, perhaps a little bit of a surprise that there's so many who are so interested. Uh, another thing was that um, there's actually, even though we know, pretty much know the species that are present in Corfu, probably not all of them, but very little is known of the abundance of these species. How many are they? And even more so, what's happening to them? Are they declining? Are they improving? what's happening. So that kind of information that biologists need to know is lacking in Corfu. And the other thing that was proven that I thought was so amusing, maybe it wasn't amusing, but as Dan said, you can't trust Facebook to store important information. <laughs> so all the information that came out of this discussion group, people's observations and the like, was disappearing into the moors of Facebook in California. So. Say, when all of this was realized, something else happened. This was, this was this year. The results of a global review, global survey, were published. It was a survey about the insects of the world, the insects of the planet, obviously including butterflies and moths. And what's been discovered is something really very alarming, that 40% of the species of insects in the whole world are declining and a third of the species are actually threatened with extinction. Now that sort of thing is very, very serious. This was a global study. There have been, um, and, and also they also found that the Lepidoptera, butterflies and moths, were among the worst affected um, in, uh, in this, um, it was found by this survey. There have been not very many regional studies. There have been studies of Lepidoptera in Germany and in the UK, and they found the same trends, this great, this terrible decline. Um, a lot of people, not the people assembled here, but a lot of people say, well, so what? Who cares? Is this, why is this important? Well, it's important because butterflies and moths are uh, very important to the proper functioning of ecosystems. I mean, they're pollinators, they're important parts of food webs. Uh, they are really very good indicators of environmental health. So there's all that, as well, of course, as the aesthetic um, reasons for appreciating butterflies and moths. Um, they are part of our wildlife heritage. And nowhere is this really can be seen as so important as in Corfu. Because in Corfu, our famous springtime that everybody loves and everybody talks about is known worldwide, is featured by its beautiful wildflowers and all the butterflies dancing around. So, I think Corfu is very lucky to have an organization like this, Corfu Butterfly Conservation, that's so dedicated to understanding and protecting the butterflies and moths. And this group, as we all know, uh, are here to do a, a butterfly survey, kind of a pilot study over the next 10 days, is it, I think, mm -hmm. to um, go all over the island. And this is to prepare for the start of the formal um, monitoring um, project of, that's going to be called Corfu Butterfly Survey starting on the 1st of January 2020. So you'll be, this, the, your presence here will get everybody all geared up and work out the bugs to be able to um, put all the information on your own website, not on a Facebook page. <laughs> um, the Corfu Butterfly Survey will provide information on the current and the future status of populations. Uh, of butterflies and moths and their habitats, of course. And this will allow a proper scientific tracking uh, of the trends of these populations and how those trends are associated with conditions in their habitat. And by conditions, I mean what have been the agricultural methods that have changed the habitats, usage of chemicals, for example, fragmentations of habitats, and of course, of uh, climate change. So 
By 2025, for five years uh, of, of this Corfu butterfly survey going on, I'm absolutely convinced that Corfu is going to be recognized as a world leader in methods of uh, studying biodiversity, of studying abundance uh, of species of wildlife, uh, their populations, and all of that information is so vital to, um, to us to know as the planet changes, and it is changing and will change. And I think it's no accident that 2025, you'll probably know this, but maybe not, is the um, year of when Gerald Durrell would have been 100 years old. Wow. Yeah. Mm. So I just think that mm. coincide the results of the survey, coinciding mm -hmm. with Jerry's 100th birthday is going to be something we can make a lot of and it's something he would have been very, very proud of. So thank you for coming. Bless Corfu Butterfly Conservation, yes. Corfu Butterfly <laughs> yeah. Survey. And, and uh, can't <laughs> wait for, for you guys to start. Thank so you. So thank you for being here. Thank you. to make this project develop deliberately, slowly, step by step, in a measured way, in order to make sure that everybody feels like this is an inclusive process. And that is something that we're very, very keen to do, because many of us are Europeans visiting here. Many on the Facebook page are Europeans who do not visit. They've never been here. They contribute to it. There's also expats that live here, but this is Corfu, and it belongs to the Corfus and the Greek people. And we always feel immensely privileged to be here in this land, in your homeland, allowed to study your wonderful natural heritage. So I think one of the most important messages that I think we want to get across today is that we are going to continue to do this one step at a time on the understanding that our Corfia brothers and sisters are very happy for us to do this. And we would very much like to work in partnership with all those that are interested in this. Yeah, thank you.